Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Red Power versus Jesse Khan is my sensei, and this is going to be another post Dune match. And let's hop right in. We're going to see Red Power win the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and they're going to decide to go first 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Ash Blossom, Edge Imp, Chain, Super Poly, Chimera Fusion, Ash Blossom. They have Terraforming, Manadium, Trid, Book of Moon, Scareclaw, Rich Heart. And then Monadium, Obsession. Uh, this hand's just a brick. Yeah, nice. Set, pass. They draw Meek. This deck also plays a lot of starters. Well, I don't know their exact build, but uh, assuming they're playing a more standard ish build, uh, they shouldn't be bricking. So activate Terraforming, go search. They're probably praying that it's Cash Tira and that Ash FTKs, but they search Peaceful Planet. Activate Peaceful Planet. And then that's going to go search out the Room Heart. And then Normal Summon Out, Scare Claw, Right Cart. Go search out Arrival. And then Special Summon Out, Trid. Sure. Okay. Uh, go for Light Heart now. Light Heart Effect to go search for the Primitive Planet. And then Activate Primitive Planet. Primitive Planet goes search. We're not trying to get any, like... You know, Peaceful Planet, big pluses there with an extra summon. Beast of Starfrost, pop. I'm not even sure what the correct play is here in this deck, to be honest. If your opponent just goes set one pass, I actually just don't know what the correct play is. Pop, special. Like, is the goal... I actually don't know the goal. I, I actually don't know the goal at all, what you're trying to go for here. But Trid Effect goes special. Because, like, I was going to say, are we trying to set up, like, a Baron to pop the back row and then, like, have a negate? Like, I'm not sure. But it doesn't seem like it. Um, we also we also can't special summon out mana. Oh, we can. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, because Peaceful Planet's up and this guy's at more. Oh, but we also, it's just Visa Star Frost. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. But we're going to go Primitive Planet to pop Super Poly. They just submit defeat. Uh, going on to the next game now. We're going to see Red Power go first. We got Cornfield, Ash Blossom, Nib, Chimera Fusion, Super Poly. They have Trid, Harpies, Droll, Obsession, and Trid. Well, this deck does have a problem with Droll and Lockbird. Um, as do as does the opponent's deck. Uh, Droll's a pretty good card. Go search out Swordsman, drop Droll and Lockbird. And then what we'll just set... Uh, I mean, we could normal summon out Mere Swordsman and then set pass. That's, like, not, like, the worst thing ever. They draw Meek, activate Harpy's Feather Duster. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty good. They probably feel like they're just getting sacked. And then normal summon Trid, activate Ab Session, and as long as you Ash, yup. Okay, so they're going to go End Phase, Swordsman Effect, Tribute, Summon out Performant, Performant Effect, let's search the Gazelle and Chimera Fusion. And then draw, draw into another copy of Nib. So and then we're going to go Main Phase, activate Chimera Fusion, go into, I was going to say we're going to make the, oh, <laughs> just smack my desk with my new, but I was going to say they're going to make like the Main King and then get their effects, add, summon back out Swordsman. Uh, they have Super Poly again, Branded Fusion, Chimera Fusion, Super Poly, and Cornfield. They have Tuning, Primitive Planet, Trid, Terraforming, and a Rival. So let's see what kind of board they're going for, because we've seen a bunch of different boards. Uh, people are either trying to go for, like, FTK-type boards with Calamities. They're going to grab Peaceful. Also, this player put their Keep Going thing on, so now they're going to... Search Peaceful, Peaceful, go search out Room Heart, Normal Room Heart, Effect, go search out Meek, Tuning, grab Revolution, and then Mill One. That's not the correct order to do things, right? Because you can't special summon out Meek because you don't have a monster of 1521. This has 1621 because it gangs 100 because of this. Nobody ever catches this. Ever. Ever. Not in a million years has anybody ever caught that. And that, that was a really big misplay there on their part. Like, if that was me at a big tournament, you're out. You're gone. You're out. My hand traps are actually going to hurt you now. They're going to go for Ancient Fairy, Effect, Pop, Search the Primal Planet, which we've also seen more people starting to put this in their deck. 
then summon revolution, mill one, mills talons. Uh, use those, make crystal wing, and then activate the tier planet. Go search Visa Star Frost. Visa Star Frost, pop, special, and then meek. Summon meek, up the level. Go for light heart, no search because we already have primitive planet. Primitive planet, search right heart, special. And then we already drew the arrival. So, arrival, special summon out Visa Star Frost. Go for cross sheep. Now, use those to make the Visa synchro. And then that's going to let us go search for the Manadum reframing uh banish summon astro loud cross sheep summon back out said crystal wing should have been there but never mind sorry oh because they wanted uh they wanted this to make everything gain attack but now they're gonna go for crimson dragon effect target crystal wing to summon okay i like that i like that summon effect bring back out from the graveyard go for this deal at this pattern effect summon out and then that brings out light heart or well, light heart effect you know bring itself out go for appalooza banish summon out another astro loud oh because we play whole parventure holy okay and then set reframing pass actually just commits so much into the turn one um i i don't even know if that is is even correct to commit this much into the turn one because i, I kind of like having some more follow-up it's not like, you know, toss format where this would just be auto game every time. Uh, they draw patchwork. Then activate patchwork. They're going to hope Arventure and negate that. Up next, Super Poly. Use Appalooza and Crystal Wing to make Mud Dragon. And then go Branded Fusion, Chain Reframing. Go Cornfield to go search out the Swordsman. Swordsman effect. Tribute goes special, and this this deal is not a negate; it's only a destruction. So they're gonna go for performant performant effect. Um, they could destroy this. They actually just have to, right? They don't even have a choice. Yeah, they just have to. So they have to destroy that. Otherwise, like they just lose to the next play. Like they could just guardian Camara pop both those draw, and like they can't do anything. They can destroy a random graveyard effect. You know, they, they, they won't do anything. So Camara fusion. We'll now go up into the Magnum, the Reliever. Um, and then here, Gazelle Effect to go search. So Gazelle, go search out Swordsman. Magnum, the Reliever, put back Super Poly. And then draw into Valor. Okay, activate Chimera Fusion, Chain, Banish Branded Fusion to pop Bestial Dispatter. Use all three, go up into Guardian Chimera. And then Guardian Chimera, draw Edgemp. And the patchwork pop primitive planet because we're just gonna be over hope. And then battle phase attack over. The pass they draw D barrier set it. And then set trid pass draw imperm. We're gonna go patchwork and we can't add back Chimera fusion. We can only do that if we have the Chimera the flying mythical beast on our field or engrave. But we're gonna go patchwork. Go grab Polly. Go grab Edgemp. Uh, we do have a beast plus a fiend, so you know main phase two. If we want to, we could go ahead and poly into the one that allows us to rip hand during end phase, just so that way we can add back Chimera Fusion, which doesn't seem that great. But then it also gives our swordsman a monster negate and our cornfield a targeting negate. So we're gonna beat over Trid Trid effects. Summon Trid. Sure. Set imprim passage or room heart. Room heart. Pop the Trid. Special, room one, trid two, imperm three. Yeah, I definitely think that we should have polyed in that main phase two. I don't think they caught that, that it's a beast and a fiend, and that could have been done. But we imperm, they summon out Meek from the deck, and then pass, draw Berfoma, activates the poly. If they wanted to, they could have also tribute summon for Berfoma, and then Berfoma effect to go search two. Actually seems really good. But they're going to D-Barrier, the Poly, and then Chimera, beat over Ruim Heart, tribute someone for Burfomit, Burfomit, go grab Chimera Fusion and Gazelle, and then set Chimera Fusion, pass, they draw Peaceful, activate Peaceful Planet, go search Visa Star Frost, and they set on res Chimera Fusion, go open the Guardian Chimera, uh, yeah, new chain link, bunch of effects will activate, Chimera 1, Burfomit 2, Gazelle 3, uh, and then they're going to chain reframing. That doesn't do anything. That just puts back three. 
Sure. I guess you have to put back Meek now, yeah, in case they pop the Meek. Yep, 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 because otherwise they were going to pop Meek and that. Yep, okay, that's nice. Yep, had to do that. Nice play on their part, but sure. And then bring out Swordsman, draw Cornfield. Um, yeah, draw Valor plus draw just pops the field spell. Then they're going to go Visa Starfrost, pop special, and then activate Meek. Meek, summon Meek, up the level. They said, hmm, I have no play though. Ye, guess so. Yeah, there's just nothing left for them to do. They didn't even have, like, the Astro Lad on the follow-up like they typically have. Uh, yeah, that's just game. So, GG. Oh, okay, another match. I actually didn't expect that one, but okay, we're going to go ahead and see Red Power win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they'll decide to go first. Uh, opening hands, we got Pauly, Nib, Branded Fusion, Swordsman, Valor. They have Tuning, Meek, Terraforming, Meek, and Arrival. So activate Branded Fusion, Dump. And this goes through. So, you know, you, you try to bait Ash Blossom. Doesn't happen. So now we're going to dump Fallen of Albaz and a Light. And then we can bring out Albion. Albion effect to try to summon out Mirror Jade. So it's not like the greatest Branded Fusion, like just achieving Mirror Jade. But we were trying to bait Hand Traps. And we didn't need to use this as a starter for our Chimera engine. So now we can just normal summon Swordsman. Swordsman, bring out Performant. Performant, go search Gazelle and Chimera Fusion. Then activate Chimera Fusion uh, using the Gazelle and Performant. And then go for the King. And then activate all three effects. King Chain Link 1, Performant Chain Link 2 to summon back out Swordsman and Gazelle to go search. So summon Swordsman, go search Cornfield. End phase, we get to rip one randomly. Uh, Chimera Fusion effect, add itself back to hand. Set Chimera Fusion. End phase, uh, rip the tuning. Pass, they draw a room heart, draw phase, swordsman effect, which I have noticed that nobody does. Nobody's going main or draw phase, swordsman effect, which is kind of crazy to me still, just because, like, I want my swordsman negate to be set up. It negates any monster effect that the opponent activates on the field. Like, I don't know. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But going on to game number two now, we're going to see Medadium go first. We got Nib, Branded Fusion, Ash, Branded Fusion, Super Poly. They have Room Heart, Tread, Revolution Synchron, Room Heart, and Assault Synchron. Okay, so playing Assault in the deck also. Summon out Room Heart, Room Heart Effect. Go grab Abscession from the deck to the hand. Special Summon out Trid. Activate Abscession, Chain Ash Blossom. Then they're going to go Room Heart, Pop Trid. Special Summon out and then activate the Trid effect. So Trid will now go special summon out a Monadium Tuner. So bring out Meek. Okay, Synchro 7 in the Ancient Fairy Dragon. Revolution Synchron, Mill 1 special. Um, and that mills the Abscession. We activate Nib there. Uh, tribute special before they go for like Crystal Wing or anything. Uh, I mean, all they have is, like, a Salt Synchron now. That doesn't really do anything. Technically, they could have summoned this before, so that way if they get it with Nib, they can summon back out Ancient Fairy, but they don't have a field spell, so that doesn't matter. The extension doesn't get you anywhere. Uh, yeah, so pass. They draw Droll, which would have been insane last turn, too. Uh, Branded Fusion, they scoop. Yep, because they just hard lose to that, because that gets to Chimera Engine. They dump Gazelle. Fauna of Albez, summon Rinbrum, Gazelle go search Swordsman, or Cornfield, Cornfield into Swordsman, Swordsman Tribute, now you have the fusion set up, you have Monster Negate, uh, you're ripping this card from their hand during the end phase, so they're starting with just one card in hand, uh, you kind of just win from there, yeah, or we could also just go for game, yeah, we can also just Branded Fusion, yeah, I didn't even think about that for a second, we can also just Branded Fusion, summon Mirror Jade, Normal Summon Edgimp, and then like Super Poly, like Mirror Jade Banish Token, Battle Phase Attack, Super Poly game. Uh, so we could also go for that if our extra deck allows it. But those two matches were about 40 minutes long. I mean, the second match was like, you know, five minutes long. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.